Hello good people, it's another Monday. Welcome to Finance Girls Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to use Excel's form controls to bring some interaction to the charts that we create. Sometimes when you create charts, you don't want to show all the elements at a go. You can use these form controls to control what you need to show at a particular time. So let's head to Excel and see how to get this done. So I start off with this sample data. I have these 12 months revenue and expense. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a chart and I'm going to use these form controls to show either revenue or expense or both on my chart. The form controls is located under the developer tab. So if you don't have the developer tab in your ribbon, you can click any existing and you choose customize the ribbon and when this opens up to your right you see developer here likely this box is not checked you check it and you click ok and this should activate the developer tab now when this is active you see this insert menu here it lists some form controls so these are controls you can use to bring some interaction to your worksheet or chart or visuals we are going to use this particular one called the option button. Now with all form controls, you click and you draw to fit the space you have allotted it. So we click this option button and then we come to the side and then we nicely draw this rectangle. So we have this, by default, you get a text box with option button one in it. You can rename this. You can simply click in it and then let's say you delete what you have here and then you put in revenue which is going to be the name for this option apart from naming or renaming you can right click on the form control and you see format control here you can change some settings on that so you click on format control and under the control tab in there this is the idea that when you check this button it's going to output a certain value in a cell Okay, so when you check it, you need to specify which cell you are going to use to hold this value. So I'll click the cell link and let's say we are going to dump it in F2. For effect, I'll check this 3D shading and I'll click OK. Now let me take off the grid lines, Alt W V J. So now when I click on this option, I get one here. So you see that I have one representing my first option button. I can copy this. So I right click copy and I'm going to paste this two times. So one, two. This is going to be for expense and this third one is going to be for both options. So again, I'm going to edit this name and I'm going to call this expense. And then I'm going to call this one both for cases where I want to show both on my chart. So depending on the number of times you create the option button, this initial output will now also increase. So revenue is one, expense is two, and then both I have three. So that's how we are going to use these option buttons. Next up, because we have this, we are going to create another version of our original data. This time around, it's going to be driven by formulas. So in this space, what we are going to do is we are going to mirror this. Assuming these months are going to be static, I'm going to reference this, highlight the range and copy it down. And then I'll bring my revenue and then I'll bring my expense. So now I have this. Now for these numbers, because I want it to be dynamic, I'm going to use the form controls to generate the revenue and expense numbers. So this is the idea. When this shows one or it shows three, I want the revenue portion to be populated. If it shows two or it shows three, I want the expense side to be populated. Is this that we are going to translate into our formula? So we'll go equal to if there are two options. So I'm going to introduce all. Okay, so if this cell 
I'll lock it with F4. It's equal to 1. Okay, that's the first OR argument. Or if this F2, I'll lock it again, is equal to 3. In both cases, I'll close this OR. The value I want here is this revenue. Okay, if not, I just want an NA. We are choosing NA because when you are plotting charts, when you see, when you use NA, the chart will not be plotted at all. So this is a preferred value in case we choose any other from these options. So I'll click this and then I have 1832. To save time, I'm going to just copy this formula and make some few changes for the expense part. So I'll just paste this. So this time around, if F2 is equal to 2, okay, or equal to 3, then it should return the expense number or NA. So if it's both the two appear, if it's one, only expense appears. If it's revenue, then only revenue appears. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy this down. So we are done here. What we are going to do now is to plot our chart. So I'll highlight this range. Alt F1 to plot your chart. We are going to change this chart type to a line with a marker. So we'll choose that here. Okay, we don't need this. Okay, so this is what we have. So what's going to happen is for this, I have only revenue. When I choose, I have expense. And when I choose this, I have both. That's the basic idea. Now let's clean this up a bit. So you take off the grid lines. Okay. And then we reduce the line width for these ones. I prefer using 1.2 or 1 point. I prefer using 1 point for this. So that the markers will show. So I'll do the same for this one. Now the last thing we are going to do is we are going to create a dynamic chart title. So that when we choose these revenue and expenses. Some way, somehow, the chart title will also update. It's pretty simple. We just have to list all the names in a particular order. So this is expense. And this is both. So simply, this is number one, number two, number three. I'm going to use a function called index. So index takes a particular range of numbers okay and then when you bring your comma and you specify the position which we already have in this output will give you the name right uh, so currently this name is reading both if i choose expense it goes to expense in that order what we are supposed to do is take this chart title placeholder click on the edge and then come to the formula and come to the formula bar and then just reference this answer that we have here and then you enter so that's it so the idea is that with these form controls we can now show different portions we can now show different elements of our chart and then we can also use that to create a dynamic chart title again the learning is in making your hands dirty please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can join our whatsapp broadcast list we send you videos directly on mondays and fridays please send add to this number or visit our YouTube channel for all our old videos. Please subscribe or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.